So, for Paladin, um, Fast Blade, no real change. Fighter Flight, no real change. Riot Blade, Total Eclipse, Shield Bash, Iron Will, Lob, Clone, Sentinel. Oh, Sentinel's damage reduction is reduced. About, uh, that used to be a 40% damage reduction. But it lasts 15 seconds instead of 8 now. So Sentinel has been improved a little bit. Um, Spirits Within now restores magic. You uh, use it, you get regain mana. Sheltron still blocks incoming attacks, lasts for 6 seconds. Prominence, uh, nothing changed there. Cover, nothing changed. Hallowed Ground, nothing. Divine Veil. Um, anything's changed there. Clemency no longer has a improved heal associated with it. Um, what has changed with Clemency, I will get to momentarily. Royal Authority. Um, I think its potency has gone down. I recall that being the same potency. Okay. I thought this was 500. Yeah, this was 500 before. The Royal Authority's potency has gone down. Um, as has Atonement's potency. Um, prevention. I still don't use this at all. I think this is better used for um, thinking with another tank. Um, Holy Spirit. This is one thing that has changed. Holy Spirit is now functional. It only costs 1,000 mana to cost, or to cast. Um, but the reason that it's become functional is because uh, Requiscat has changed how it works. So... Before, you would cast it and you'd get a buff for uh, something like 12 seconds that would allow you to cast uh, Clemency or Confitior as an instant cast. Now you get five stacks, and that will allow you to cast five spells instant cast. Uh, if you do Clemency, you can do it five times. Holy Circle, you can do it five times. Holy Spirit, five times. Uh, Confitior will use up all remaining stacks. So, if you're going to try to maximize damage, you want to do Holy Spirit four times, and then Confitior on single target, or Holy Circle, Confitior. Same. Intervene. Nothing has changed. Atonement, the power has come down. Um, the other thing to note is that Holy Circle, um, if you use it in conjunction with Requisite, uh, it has improved potency. So it's no longer 130 to everything. It's 300 across the board. Um, where is it? Holy Spirit. Uh, Holy Spirit's power has been increased. And if you use Requiscat with it, um, it's double the potency. So it's good to like unload with Holy Spirit and then hit Confitior if you're competent confident with your healers. Um Atonement, not much. Confitior. Uh it will consume all the stacks that you get for um Requiscat. So be aware of that. Changes made for this game. So Sheltron Mastery. Upgrades Sheltron to Holy Sheltron. Actions. Holy Sheltron. You block the incoming tax. It lasts two seconds longer than regular Sheltron, but it also grants Knight's Resolve, which reduces the damage you take by 15%. So in addition to having better blocking, you take 15% more off that. And you also get a 12-second regen cast upon you with 50 potency. So it's a really nice um, upgrade. 
Let's go back to the traits. Melee mastery. It will increase the potency of all of your physical skills, most of your physical skills, um, by about 30. So, Fast Blade goes to 200, Riot Blade goes to 170, Royal Authority to 130, Holy Spirit to 270, and Atonement to 420. This is the base. I don't know if it affects the combo. I will find out when I unlock it. Um, Divine Magic Mastery. It adds a healing effect to both Holy Spirit and Holy Circle. I'm hoping what that means is when I cast it, it's going to either do an AoE heal or a self-heal with the Holy Spirit. Um, Spirits Within Mastery. It converts Spirits Within to expi Expiation. Expiation. Delivers an attack to target and all enemies nearby it. With a potency of 300 for the first enemy and 150 for all remaining enemies. So basically it takes Spirits Within, increases the potency, and makes it an AoE attack. That's going to be fun. Last trait that we've got is Divine Veil, and it adds a healing effect to Divine Veil when you cast it. So, not only do you put up a shield that will uh, be spread to the other players once you're healed, but it will also have a heal with it. Now the three skills that are remaining, um, Blade of the Faith, Blade of the Truth, and Blade of Valor. This is going to be a chain skill that goes out with Confitior. Confitior, once it's cast, it will convert it to Blade of the Faith, which deals unexpected damage to target and all enemies nearby with potency of 250 for the first and half that for the remainders. It also restores magic. Blade of Truth does 350 for the first and half that for the remainders also restores magic. And the last one, uh, 420 uh, to the first enemy and half that for everything else restores magic, applies a damage over time, uh, 80 on the first target, 40 on the rest, and it has a duration of 21 seconds. Regrettably, that does not stack with Goring Blade, so... Um, I think you'd rather have Blade of Faith on there because it, or Blade of Valor, because it's a uh, higher potency. Yeah, a higher potency. So, this allows you to have an AoE dot, basically. Other thing, no, no other things. That is... That is it for Paladin, currently. Um, I don't know if they changed any of the roll stuff. Oh, well. Nope. No, everything is still there for that. So, what this means for Paladin is it changes the play style up a bit. Especially after you get uh, Requiscat. Um, I've played through a few dungeons today trying to get this character leveled. Um, and feel a lot less tanky. I feel like I'm taking more damage, but at the same time, I'm also able to self heal myself a lot more effectively because I can Requiscat and then heal myself four times with Clemency. So although you do not have the improved heal from Requiscat on the Clemency, um, you do get, like, it doesn't decrease the MP cost. It still costs what it costs, but it's an instant cast. So it's just, if you cast it, heal what, whatever you're targeting. Um, it will take some getting used to to anybody that is used to the old style of tanking. So, be warned. It will, uh, it'll be fun. Be really fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV videos, please like, follow, and subscribe. The usual YouTube stuff. To catch me live, check out my Twitch. Link in the description. 
Have a wonderful, wonderful day.